We wanted to find out which type of aircraft had killed Kaltam's children. We got access to this satellite image of Nyala Airport in South Darfur. It was taken on June 18th. These are Chinese Fantan fighter jets, or A-5s. Panorama visited Nyala and identified them on the ground. With confidential military assistance, we've established that Fantans were flying from here regularly in February. They were taking off on missions and heading west. Bebe lies in the west. Our investigations indicate that these are the only type of fighter jets that have been based in Darfur in the last seven months. It's believed the Fantans came to Sudan before the arms embargo was imposed. But a series of photos of the Fantans we've acquired, these were taken last year, show them in Darfur being serviced. The embargo prohibits foreign servicing. We tracked down Chris Dietrich, another former member of a UN panel of experts. He spent months investigating these planes in Darfur last year. The aircraft will be sold as part of a, a larger package and the more profitable part of the package usually is the training of air crews and the training of uh, maintenance personnel, as well as all associated spare parts. Does Sudan have the capability to service these aircraft itself? It has the capability to perform light servicing, but once you start dealing with the avionics, then you need foreign or foreign trained technicians. And China actually having sold these aircraft to Sudan, then you could presume that any technicians would, would indeed be part of that contract and from China. We were told by a military source we can't name that these Fantan aircraft looked like they've been serviced in the last few weeks. These are called K-8s. They too are Chinese aircraft. They were imported to Khartoum in 2006 as the war in Darfur was in full swing. They're designed to train fighter pilots. We've been told by our military source that China is currently training Sudan's Fantan pilots. A second source, well placed within the UN, backed this up. This is the typical trainer. Once you graduate from this, you can fly the Fantan. We've been very reliably told that, the, that Sudanese pilots are being trained by China. Does that match with what you were able to find out? Absolutely. Any sale of aircraft or, or any military equipment of this capacity you would have to have the sale involve trainers. The terms of the embargo cover not only just the supply of weapons, military vehicles, paramilitary equipment, it also covers training, any technical assistance. So training of pilots obviously falls within the scope of the embargo.